Hello folks, this is James. I'm here today, I'm here to discuss the MRS, okay, the Magnetic Retention System by BDS here. Okay, what this is is a very, very, very strong magnet, okay. It is a very cool product. I got it, uh, and I have to say, I love it. It has its pros, it has its cons, but uh, with anything, you have to know what you can do, what you can't do. Uh, the first thing about it, tested it out for a couple days. Uh, I tried it on an M4, all right, M4 rifle, which uh, you'll come to find out it it holds the M4, but it doesn't hold it that well to where you can run around. Okay, I think the reason behind it is because the M4 has a lot of uh, aluminum, that type stuff. If it's around the barrel, it will hold very securely, but uh, if it's not. Not so much. It will hold in place, but any kind of uh, jogging and such, or jumping up and down, and it will flop. Uh, the same time, if you use an AK-47, it will hold, and that thing will not go anywhere because of the steel. All right, MP5, same thing. It will hold on very, very uh, securely. Uh, one thing I wanted to test out when I first got the product is uh, I have an M4 or AR-15 with a very, very light trigger pull. I wanted to know if it would uh, set it off. All right? I didn't want to be that guy at the range to have it stuck to my chest looking cool and yank the rifle off and have it fire a shot in, off into the ground and be that guy, okay? So I did some testing on it, all right? Myself, I could not get the weapon to go off. I tried, I tried, but it did not go off. I did take it apart, holding the lower receiver, Put it against there, moving it back and forth. All right, I did see movement. All right, I did see movement, so I cannot say for sure it would not set it off. But in my limited testing, it was okay. So I'll leave it at that. So, of course, if you get this product and you have a weapon with a very light uh, trigger pull, I would highly suggest that you uh, you test it yourself before uh, using it around a lot of people. Okay. Uh, next, uh, one thing that kind of dawned on me, actually someone mentioned it to me, is uh, being a giant magnet, be aware where you have it. All right? I have a friend of mine who uh, will be ordering one very soon, and he asked me, he's like, well, uh, will it erase credit cards? I said, that's a good question, because at one day at work, I actually had it just on my belt loop. My belt loop, I had it on there. Had my keys stuck to it, wanted to test out, see how it worked. It worked very well. But he's like, aren't you worried about uh, having that near your wallet? He's like, you might go to the restaurant or something and and uh, none of your credit cards will work. And uh, I have to say that is a big concern. And I'm also going to say, I haven't tried it. I have no intention of wiping my credit cards across uh, the face of this magnet. But just be very aware. Same thing goes for cell phone. I don't know if it's going to mess up your cell phone, and I have no intention of rubbing my cell phone all over it to find out. All right. Now, the thing I do like love about it is, uh, is like I said, any weapon, it will stay, stay on there. Some much more than others. All right. Single point sling that I have here. If I hook on my AR, my M4, M16, whatever it may be. All right. And I don't want it stuck right here. All right. A lot of times we live leave it dangle all right the problem with leaving a dangle at least in my opinion is if we have to bend over to pick something up I know uh, more than one occasion I've been caught in the face by my rifle sliding forward and catching me so instead of having this right here I found that moving it over to the side works very well so if I drop that rifle down it's gonna stay here if I have to move all right which is uh, very effective now the cons with this, all right? The cons are as follows. Uh, the one thing I found, day two of having it, all right? Up here on the corner, I'm not sure if you can see it or not, but there is uh, there was significant fraying already, all right? Because I found that by opening up this pouch, you'll see the magnets inside. And, uh, and those magnets have very, very sharp corners, all right? I mean enough to where it's very uncomfortable to touch. So what I did 
is uh, I'm not big into filing or anything like that. I simply got a piece of tape and I ran tape around the edges of the uh, magnets. All is well. All right, problem solved. Another problem that you may uh, to may have a problem with law enforcement probably not military absolutely. You'll notice we have lettering. All right, anyone in the military knows at least my command. If it has a logo on it, it's a no-go, okay? So, while it's cool, it's on there, I would prefer it not be, this plane would be great for me, okay? But be very aware, if you buy it for military, your command might have a heart attack if they see a logo, okay? Another thing you can probably see on here, if I walk up close, on the logo here, the letters shred very, very, very quickly. Now I've tested this out not very often, or not as much as I would like, but the letters are already starting to fray and I've ran a cigarette lighter over it a couple times to, uh, to get rid of the fraying. All right, uh, another negative for those military folk. It's cool to have on your gear, but when you are out in the field, right, sometimes we have to do land navigation and such like that. I have found if you use a compass, you have no chance in hell of finding out where you're going. Because this magnet is so strong, it will uh, lock that compass in place. All right? I can hold my arm out the full length with a compass, and it will still uh, stay in the same spot. Okay, So be very aware of this. All right? Another cool thing I tested out that I like, I'm a big, hand, or big fan of doing... Uh, weapons drills and doing weak hand drills all right like as if I get hit in the right arm not being a righty and my arm is disabled all right my big thing is getting to your weapon bringing it up all right and doing reloads and such so if I have my weapon up and I get hit I drop it all right I'm not gonna mess up my gun so I pick it back up this weapon is clear all right I pick up the weapon and I have to reload my hand is wounded I can place my weapon here, go here, go through my other magazine, put it back in, go through the motions, all right? Which is excellent, in my opinion. I love it. Because we've all seen the guys who pull it out, and they, they're doing this kind of stuff, and they're doing behind the knee. I'm a big fan of being mobile. If I have to go dry, I can slap this thing here, run, get behind cover, get behind cover, Go through the motions, pull it out, and continue to fight. Okay, which is very, very cool. Same time, if I pull my weapon out of the holster, all right, I bring it up. We've all seen guys, all right, they come and they try to do all kinds of crazy rolls and such. When they bring their weapon out, they'll roll it across their chest. From here, if you bring it out, you can bring it up to the chest, flip, go through the motions, which is very, very nice in my opinion. I love it. All right. I love it for that reason uh, alone. That's the reason I would purchase this. All right. But that's basically a short review. Uh, this is all my opinion. If you try it out and you don't like it, by all means, feel free to shoot me a comment. I'm trying to give a fair and honest review of this product. All in all, I like it. Uh, the price point, I believe it was $59.99 uh, on the website. I think it's a little bit high personally, but is it... Uh, if you have a use for it, I think like anything that goes on tactical gear, it's ballpark. Okay, I mean it's it's okay. I think thirty nine ninety nine would be great, but then again, you know, free is even better. But with that being said, uh, I'll leave you uh, with this. Once again, this is the product of the magnetic retrieval. Uh, or I'm sorry, retention system. So, you folks have a good day. Thank you.